Welcome back to the story of liberty. One of the descendants of Alfred the Great was named St. Margaret of Scotland. Margaret ended up in Scotland after their ship was thrown off course and shipwrecked. A storm drove their ship right into Scotland, where there she met the king, King Malcolm III. The king fell in love with Margaret. And he married her and she taught the king about the Bible. She read stories to the king from the Bible. She instigated religious reform. And what an example she was as we think about her a thousand years later. She influenced her husband and children, especially her youngest son, David I, also to be a just and holy ruler. She attended to many charitable works, serving orphans and the poor every day before she ate her own meal. She washed the feet of the poor in imitation of Christ washing the feet of his apostles. She rose at midnight every night to attend church services. This great woman of God, St. Margaret of Scotland, you can go to her chapel. It's 1,100 years old on the grounds in the Edinburgh Castle in Scotland. And sit in that room and see why she reached the point of sainthood. She was canonized in 1250 by the Pope for her personal holiness and her fidelity to the church and her charity. St. Margaret of Scotland, the great woman of God.